Every morning, Saliu Kargbo heads out to work at a mining site near his village. A few years ago, he found a small diamond, but says he only received a fraction of its worth. Two weeks ago, now. Two weeks ago I had to take my daughter to the hospital, but I did not have the money at first for the blood transfusion. I really struggled to find it. That's because of how miners are paid here. Kargbo works for his uncle. He handed the diamond over to him to be sold. He got a bit of cash and a promise to build him a house. Ibrahim Conte has found several diamonds over the years, but has no idea how much they sold for. Small change. It's just a small amount of money they are often given us. We don't really understand its value. So a boss just gives us what he feels. Many hope it will be a different story for the proceeds of the huge diamond found in a nearby village called Koyadu. The 709 carat gem, one of the largest ever found, was discovered by a local miner like Cargbo. It's valued in the tens of millions of dollars. The owner of the land where it was found handed it over to the government. About 400 people live in Koyadu, a mining community like many others, lacking in many basic services. One of the things people in Koyadu want is better access to a health center. Right now, none exists in the community. Their only option is 30 minutes on a motorbike into the main town to get access to the nearest health center. Miner Peter Bamoy says improved education should be a priority. You see, if somebody is educated, they know what he or she is to do in the, in the, in the community. I see. So it's one of the key points. The Sierra Leone government agrees communities like Koyadu need more attention. So healthcare is, continues to be essential, particularly when we have expanded the coverage to include the disabled people as well as the Ebola survivors. Education remains pivotal. There are corruption concerns in Sierra Leone. However, the government says it's making the bidding for the diamond completely transparent. Miner Sally Okarbo says he hopes the government will follow through with their promise so that his children can have a promising future. Nina DeVries, Al Jazeera, Kano, Sierra Leone.